And now we're going to go to our own Adele Crow as she has It's Easy Being Green. Adele. Welcome to It's Easy Being Green. We are so excited to be at the Arlington County Fair this year. Guess what? They are going green with a zero waste policy and we want to talk about some of the wonderful things they're trying to implement this year. For instance, they are trying to ban all single-use plastic straws and have the vendors replace them with compostable, compostable options. So they also want to ban styrofoam, which is a huge, we're so happy to hear that. And uh, that means no styrofoam cups and no styrofoam clamshells. Yay! So Joe Tree Frog wants you to know that we're also trying to ban small condiment packets for mustard, ketchup, and all those sauces. And instead, vendors should provide bulk distribution in paper cups for these items. It would also be great if we can recycle materials in a single stream recycling stream. So remember, you can put your paper, your cardboard, your glass, aluminum, and plastic materials in these special bins that are set up all over the campgrounds or fairgrounds. Uh, so look for these giant signs that mark it out. Uh, we're trying to get them to move them closer to the center because right now they're kind of on the sidelines. But they are all over the fairgrounds. And uh, yet you could do your part in participating in the single stream recycling. They also want to expand their compostable efforts. And that means that we're going to remove the food waste and paper products and other biodegradable items out of the waste stream. What this means is that our food vendors grease can be collected and rendered and this processed grease can be used to create biofuel. We're also going to try and collect and distribute the manure that's generated by the livestock and we can use reuse this um, manure for our neighborhood gardens. Now when it comes to transportation, Arlington's car-free diet is trying to promote several items too. For instance, yours truly arrived here by the shuttle. So one of the ways to get here, because there is no parking at the fairgrounds, is to take one of the shuttles that are going to be located um, at four different locations. You can look that up online. You can also uh, walk, bike, there's a bike share. Uh, take the bus and take the metro. So lots and lots of different uh, ways to get to the to the fairgrounds. And there's a really excellent uh, website that you can look up on all those different options. And don't forget to bring your reusable water bottle because guess what? There's water filling up stations uh, around the fairgrounds. So because it's hot out here, you can tell whew, I'm kind of hot right now. And uh, so what we want you to do is bring your reusable water bottles and uh, fill up with water at the fairgrounds. And right now I'm going to turn it over to uh, Styrofoam Mom here. This is Miriam Gennari. She's got her feet on the ground, been walking around the fairgrounds and observing how our vendors are, um, are getting used to this zero waste policy. Thanks so much, Adele, and wonderful report. Thank I you. love the aspiration of the Arlington County Committee on trying to make the, the fairground zero waste. I'll be honest with you, there are some challenges, and so you brought some of them up, so let's just touch on them. Absolutely. First thing you brought up was the, the idea of the straws. You know, I think that there's a big debate around the country on whether you should or shouldn't use straws, but ultimately, getting people to request a straw is much better than just giving them one. Absolutely. So I've seen great conformity. I think the vendors have done a nice job of not sticking a straw in everything, but there are plastic straws on the fairground. And to be honest, I think that's one of the challenges that a lot of uh, municipalities are dealing with, but at least I see an attempt there. Exactly. Now, for the most part, I am very excited to see that most of the vendors are not using styrofoam. Exactly. I did come across one vendor that was using styrofoam, and, and interestingly enough, he said he was not aware. So I think we need to go back and just take a look at how we're informing the vendors when they show up and, and, and really how we're following through when they set up to see what exactly they're using. On a very bright side, many of the vendors are using recyclable containers or compostable ones. 
one lesson to be learned is that they need to know whether their material is compostable or recyclable, and it would really benefit Arlington County and the whole system if they made sure that their customers knew. For example, we invested in recyclable containers so that you can reach zero waste. Be certain to put that in the compostable or be certain to put that in the recyclable container. So a little extra information is, is certainly necessary. We really want the vendors who've taken the time and effort to switch to compostable options to be able to use that as advertising. Get credit for it. Yes. They've invested extra money, so they should get credit for it. And I think the other thing that you brought up that's really important is that we can't hide this wonderful zero waste plan in the back of the building. We need to bring it out to the main areas where people are walking around and make sure that they understand that they can recycle. It's a wonderful opportunity to talk to vendors and also talk to citizens about zero waste. So I believe the best thing to do for the remainder of the fair is have somebody manning those stations and assist people in telling them, dump the food out here. This is compostable. Great news, you can recycle this. Unfortunately, this is trash. And that's how we begin to help Arlington reach zero waste.